let us have one more question on coordination compounds nomenclature. Now the complex given here is K3FeCN6. We should get the correct name for this. Here we have cation. Cation here is potassium. All the options have potassium here. So based on this we can't select the correct option. Come to the coordination sphere. And before the coordination sphere, when we have cation here, complex should be anion. As per the rules of the nomenclature of coordination compounds, its name should end in ATE. So, when we think of this ending of the name with ATE, look at the options here, ferrate, ferrate. These are the two options remaining now. These two options, which are named as iron, these are ruled out. Then, cyanide ligand is named in the IUPAC system as cyanido, not cyano. When it is named as cyanido, option B has the correct name cyanido. So, therefore, the correct name for this is potassium hexacyanido ferrate 3. So, the correct option is option B. So, in the previous questions on coordination compounds nomenclature, we had seen that the complex is given and we were supposed to find out the correct name of the complex. But in this particular question, name of the complex is given and for correct formula of the complex is to be identified. Look at the name given, diamine tetra aqua iron 2 chloride. Look at the oxidation state of the iron given here. If you get the correct oxidation state of iron in the given complexes here, automatically you will get the correct option. Look at the first option. Here both are neutral ligands. There is no charge on these. This is minus 1. Then iron should be plus 1. This is ruled out. Come to the second one. Again these two are neutral ligands. No charge on them. Here it is minus 1. Iron is plus 1. This option is also ruled out. Come to the third option. Here these two are neutral ligands. This central metal ion carries plus 2 charge. The same plus 2 charge comes to the complex ion. That plus 2 charge is neutralized by 2 Cl minus ions here. So this is the complex compound having iron in plus 2 state. If you come to this, Again, iron is in plus 1 state. Options A, B and D have iron in plus 1 state, but the given complex compound name has iron in plus 2 state. The complex compound having iron in plus 2 state is option C. And again, to cross verify that, diamine, tetra aqua, ligands are also in the alphabetical order here. So, the correct name of this complex is diamine tetra aqua iron 2 chloride. So, correct option for this question is option C. So far, we had the questions related to the basic concepts of coordination compounds and the nomenclature of coordination compounds. Another important area of coordination compounds is isomerism in coordination compounds. Coordination compounds generally exhibit structural isomerism as well as stereoisomerism. In structural isomerism, we have ionization isomerism, coordination isomerism, linkage isomerism, solvate isomerism and in st stereoisomerism we have 
geometrical isomerism and optical isomerism. Now we have a question related to linkage isomerism. A complex is given here. The question is which one of the following compounds will exhibit linkage isomerism? The condition for a complex to exhibit linkage isomerism is it should have ambidentate ligand. We have the examples of ambidentate ligands like NO2 minus, CN minus and the SCN minus. Amongst the ambidentate ligands which I told you now, the complex compound which has the ambidentate ligand is the complex number 2. This, here, this has ambidentate ligand. Of course, C and D have NO2, but remember NO2 is present in ionization sphere, NO2 is not present as ligand. Since the complex B has NO2 as a ligand and this can link through nitrogen or through oxygen. Therefore, option B, CONH3 5 times NO2 Cl2 can exhibit linkage isomerism. The correct option for this question is option B. Now we will move to the next question on isomerism in coordination compounds. Which one of the following has an optical isomer? The complex has ethylene diamine as ligand. This is abbreviated as EN. There are four options here. ZN, EN, NH3 twice 2 plus, CO, EN thrice 3 plus, CO, H2O 4 times EN 3 plus, ZN, EN twice 2 plus. For this, I want the students to remember a simple clue. The clue is a complex can exhibit optical isomerism if it has coordination number 6. This is condition number 1. The condition number 2 is it should have 2 or more than 2 bidentate ligands. Based on this immediately we arrive at the answer. Look at this. When I say coordination number 6, the two options are ruled out here. This complex has coordination number 4, two ligands here, ethylene diamine bidentate ligand, coordination number here is 4. Coordination number here is 6. Coordination number here, 4 plus 2, 6. Coordination number 4. These are the only two complexes having coordination number 6. These two are ruled out. Condition number 2, it should have 2 or more than 2 bidentate ligands. This complex has only one bidentate ligand. This option is ruled out. So, option B, COEN thrice 3 plus with coordination number 6 and 3 bidentate ligands can exhibit optical isomerism. So, the correct option for this is option B, CO, AN thrice 3 plus. Mm -hmm.